Do do do. Mousey mouse. Hey guys, it's Mousey Mars here, and um, today, and like I said last episode, we're gonna fight a wither. Now, hang on, there is some things we're gonna need. Obviously, we're gonna need skulls, which I happen to have. I have 18 of them, which means we are actually gonna fight six withers. Yes, six of them. Um, I'll probably only show three on camera and then do some off camera. And I've got my soul sand there. I actually have even more skulls than that. I've got 21 in here. Now, um, Chu is actually the one who donated all of these these 18 here. I think he donated all of them. I can't even remember. Um, I think I might have got some. But uh, all of these ones I got when I was trying to get these necrotic bones. Now, these things let me make heart canisters that give you more hearts down there, you see. So, they're, they're quite expensive. They take these jeweled apples. So, we, we're actually going to make ourselves some of these jeweled apples here. Uh, like, oh, wrong <laughs> That is not the right way to do that, that you do it this way. Uh, like so. And we're actually going to need nine of these Jude apples, because we have nine hearts. You can actually have ten of each one, so you have ten of the miniature ones, ten of the yellow, and then ten of the green, which isn't actually in this pack, unfortunately. Uh, so the yellow ones are this, not chapels, which is the gold blocks and the apple, and uh, miniature red hearts. So we'll have to save up quite a while to get those ones. But for these ones, we can do these right now. So these little heart canisters, they're just four aluminium or some tin and a bone. Throw that, throw these in here with no chronic bones. I got ten of them because obviously you can have ten canisters, but then I realised I didn't have enough hearts for that. Throw that bone in there, that guy in there, that guy there, and uh, throw apples in there. That's actually from our farm then. Now you put these on right here um, in this slot. So now if we just eat up our food, you'll notice that we'll actually get some yellow hearts. Let's, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, okay, we can't eat anymore. Now we're actually going to go ahead and do this inside the nether probably, I think. The nether is probably the best place for this to go down. Okay guys, so I put all my valuables into my pouch here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead... <laughs> And do this now. I think I'm gonna do two at a time here, so it's a bit risky, but uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna do three of them. I, I I'm feeling like I can do this. So let's. Oh, you do not go there, guys. One, two. One, two, okay, let's place on the third. Ah, shit, 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 okay. Run. <laughs> oh, man. I am so scared right now. <laughs> this is not a good idea. Okay. Can I kill you? No. Ah, shit. Shit. I've been with it. Maybe this best plan ever was the worst plan ever. I must admit. Just saw a little bit of shit here with losing this first row of hearts. Uh, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to go ahead and go get some. Uh, jeweled apples because you can eat them and they give you some buffs so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go do that and I'll be right back guys okay guys I'm back and uh, <laughs> I've made up one of these notch apples and also some jeweled apples so let's eat one of these oh look at that another row of hearts um, hey come over here come over here Shit, shit, shit. Eat the golden apple. Eat it. Oh. Oh, we took one out. Grab that. Oh, oh my god. I throw that in there. Oh no, not the jeweled apples. We need them. Let's fight them.
works. And now we have five nether stars instead of six because one of them went. Oh, I feel like doing some more nether f wither boss fights now. This is so fun. Anyway, guys, I... Wow. That was amazing. I will see you guys back at the base and we will start get started on the actual thing that I wanted to do today. Okay, guys, we're back. And I've um, made up everything that we're going to need here. <clears throat> so I've got the better barrels. Got some upgrades for these better barrels. Probably gonna make three more of these storage upgrades as well. I think I've got one more in here. So I just have to make these two up. You know what, I will go ahead and do that right now. All right, and basically we also have the um, auto spawner, which is quite easy to make. Just some magma cream, emeralds, reception coil, machine frame. Basic stuff there. Grinder, tin gears, there's some reception machine frame, some books, the Invar sword. Again, quite easy to make that as well. And of course, just got some conduit and stuff like that here. Pressurized, because this here actually uses something called mob essence uh, to make work. And we can get mob essence through XP, which we have all right out here. I've been collecting this XP for quite a while. Um, the way that we're actually going to get more essence is we are going to do one of these division schedules and uh, we're going to do that we're going to do a ritual to get ourselves some cursed earth and then we're going to throw that in the bottom of the seer spawner so I'm going to start it there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 we want 9 by 9 on the inside of this guys we have a gift from the Jew <laughs> I thought it had to be there. <laughs> he thought that we needed this fucking tower here. Look at it. No. Beautiful. And for those that know what this is, he's a horrible person. <laughs> at least it's not a block with some stained clay on top. That's what he used to do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've, I've built this spawner, guys, and it's right here. Wait, wait, I'm flying there. And basically, uh, it's powered by saplings right now. So I've got I've got my mob essence coming here through an ender tank because we now have unlimited ender pearls and then down there's my auto spawner that's just conduit coming up there and I put the two witch spawners there with a block in between them because once we get cursed earth which we're going to do right now we'll be able to get them on all the time so we're getting all these drops here and uh, down here we've got the grinders going and then we've just got another one of these little biofuel setups and then whenever I need power I just throw saplings in and then. Uh, just takes it and then from the back here it comes out there uh, uh, and we actually get these Stormcraft uncommon treasures from this as well which is fucking sweet so yeah we're gonna get a bunch of potions and shit so yeah I'm gonna go get set up to do this uh, thanks for the Skype noises guys it's lovely um, they're in the cool I don't know what they're doing so I'm going to go get set up to do this ritual. I need a divine suture. I need to go get an enchanting table and then we'll we'll get this done. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, it's Mousy Vaz and we're about to do this ritual thingy. Ah, I'm scared because yeah. this is... Uh, sacrifice the sheep. Someone. Kill, die. I sacrificed it. No, we forgot to activate the ritual first. Shit, we need to get, we need to get another sheep. We need to get another sheep. Okay. Really? Okay, we have to... We have to put the sheep on top, yeah. Then we click okay. this. Okay, now do it. Now kill. Hi, okay. sheep. Shit, shit, stand back. Okay. What are we waiting for? Shit, do I have to perform the sacrifice? I think I might have to do it. Is there another sheep anywhere? For <laughs> not midnight. Oh, we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow midnight. Shit. No, oh, that's so long away. No. Okay, I can do this. I can find a sheep or a cow. We've missed midnight. No, I found one. I found one. We haven't missed... Ah, oh, we just missed midnight. She's, she's sleeping in the ground. All right, we're going to wait for tomorrow midnight and we'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And um, like the idiot I am, I completely forgot to record that. But um, I, I, I done it. I harvested all of the um, cursed earth, got the active division sigil, so we can make our stuff like the builders want here. Let me show you. Yielders... Builder one. This this guy, okay. Builders want. We can make this guy. So to do this, we need unstable ingots to get them. 
We only have 10 seconds to craft it, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna try this, right? So let's put this back, and then I will, I will do this. Hang on, let's see. Now I'm confident in this, so we're gonna do this in our house. Um, so if anything goes wrong here, it will be a complete disaster. So uh, we need iron and a diamond. So a piece of iron, diamond, and finally a piece of obsidian as well. Okay, so to do this we do this guy, this guy, this guy. So for when we pull this out we have to quickly put this obsidian in and put this guy in. Oh, okay, we've done it. Now the builder's wand is quite an amazing block. So let's grab out some dirt and I'll show you what this thing does. So if we come out here, if I place a couple of dirt blocks here, this block is amazing. It lets us just do this and build ourselves out some stuff. See? And it can be any block, any block. I just happen to show you with the dirt and it's absolutely amazing. And it's going to help us out so much. So yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and wait for that spawner to give us enough ender pearls to be able to make an ender quarry and everything that we need to go along with that. And then once I do, I will be right back and we will get our quarry going. And we might even get into some miscraft as well. Okay guys, so I just wanted to, just before I go here and wait for these ender pearls to go, which I'll probably end up just going watching have some house of cards and coming back here tomorrow, but basically this cursed earth does something to these vanilla spawners where it lets them work even when there's no player around. So now, now that this these spawners have this cursed earth, it's going to mean that they will spawn witches out even when we have no kind of even when we're not here basically um, that's that's the goal here and I'm actually gonna die by the look of it so I'm gonna come up here okay guys I'm back and we're not actually gonna set up the quarry just yet I just want to show you guys what I've made up here so we're actually gonna go with the ender quarry now there is another one the build craft quarry let me just search quarry this guy right here but we are not gonna be using the build craft quarry because I have found this better quarry and basically this guy here won't make that massive hole in your world but you'll still get all of your resources which is really awesome um, so we're going to use this and also because it mines down every column of a chunk and it mines per chunk we'll get to those goodies down the bottom faster which is awesome and we'll get a better distribution so um, I've made a few things for this now this thing here needs these ender markers which you can make using this QED recipe now the QED is this little guy right out here like I told you before one second, let me just adjust my mic, there you go. Um, <clears throat> like I've told you before, it's just this little guy here, you got three of these set up. Uh, this is my little setup, you can have as many of these as you want, but I've, I've done three and you just throw your recipes in there. So yeah, I've made four of those little guys so we can place them around a 500 by 500 radius. Yes, that's right, this thing has no limit on how big you can have it. Um, and then this guy right here, okay, yes I know, it does look a bit complicated. So you've got two endothermic pumps, which is basically just, if we just, uh, R is not working. If we just come in here, it's some uh, water, eye of ender, some of these ender infused obsidian, which you'll see everywhere, which is just obsidian surrounding an ender pearl. And a pickaxe, and it's pretty straightforward stuff for that. I've actually made two more of these for nether pumps. We're probably going to switch to them in the nether, and they replace all the lava with hard, with stone basically instead of just nothingness, which is awesome. Uh, this ender core, this is where it gets a bit tricky. So you need this magical wood, which you need bookshelves and enchanted books. So you just do level one on all of them, and I think if you do level thirty on all of these guys, you'll get more books out as well. Uh, so you need you need two of those guys here, just again that infused thing and the the uh, eye of ender. Sorry, uh, yeah, you got more of that ender infused stuff. Diamond pickaxe, this here, and uh, this diamond etched multi something whatever. Uh, you got burnt quartz, which you just throw quartz into an ender IO furnace or just any furnace for that matter. Uh, and some diamond makes that, and that's how we make that guy. Now this silk touch upgrade will make sure that everything that comes out of this thing is silk touched, and it is two redstone, one of these bases, and a golden pickaxe with silk touch on. And I'll show you something awesome uh, in a second to get this silk touch, and that's just some burnt quartz with some of this ender infused. Now to get this silk touch, what I did was there's this awesome block in ender IO, and um, where is it? You take one of these slime balls. 
and you take one of these, uh, where is it? Uh, books and quills, right? And you come over here. Well, you, you guys don't, because obviously it's, your, your map's different, but you make up one of these guys here, an enchanter, which I have right here. Just some dark steel, diamond book. Dark steel's very easy to get, just obsidian, pulverized cord, and iron inside an alloy smelter. So you put your book in there, that there, and it's got all these different enchants. So basically you use items to get enchantments, which is amazing, right? And I've managed to get all of this stuff. Managed to get the um, silk touch. Let me find it. Yeah, silk touch there. And then if you use redstone, you get efficiency. You've got ender pearl from infinity. It's, it's got so much stuff in it. And um, this here upgrade, which is level 3, as you can see, it's power drain times 2. Don't worry, we will have some amazing power for this thing going to use um, big reactors well, I haven't made up the stuff for that yet but I will after I show you this so it requires two efficiency five picks which is about a less than a stack of redstone each for those books uh, some of these stack upgrades which is some diamonds and gold more gold and redstone for these upgrades there now you actually get four of these upgrades uh, but you only get one of these ones per this thing uh, now this requires the level 2 upgrade, which requires 2 speed upgrades, an efficiency 3 diamond pick, and then this level 1, which is just an efficiency 1 and the same kind of stuff, and then the base upgrade there. Big reactors, here we go. So what I'm going to make up here, it uses this Yellorium stuff, Yellorium, and um, we need some of this here reactor casing, which is some graphite. Graphite is literally really easy to get, you just smoke down some coal or charcoal, and you go ahead and get yourself some graphite. Uh, yellow room or uranium. I'll probably end up using the yellow room uh, over the uranium. I might use the uranium just to get rid of it. Um, and then you get four of these guys. And we're going to make a 9x9 nine nine reactor. So there'll be 9x9. Nine nine. Actually, no, we won't do that. We'll do a... It has to fit inside a chunk. So I guess we'll do a 7x7 seven seven reactor with four rods. Uh, that would be best. Uh, you need this reactor controller, which is a diamond. Some of these reactor casings, redstone. Easy stuff. We need four of these control rod things here. Again, quite easy to make. We need reactor power tap to get power out. Um, now this is RF power, so we don't have to convert it or anything. We need one of these reactor ports. Just don't control, but we need the fluid rod things here to contain our fuel inside our inside our big reactor. And I'll make these guys up, and I'll make the reactor the big reactor and you know plug everything into our world all right i'm back and i've got a yellow bag in my hands yes that's right a yellow one now i haven't actually done any more miscraft really i mean i found some pages but we're nowhere close what you just seen inside the bag there that was a mistake <coughs> but uh we're not really anywhere close i did find some cool ages that i'll show you I'm not well. Not going to go to them, but here's my page finding age. It's basically just a massive kind of nether biome <laughs> with water and stuff. You know, I will show you my page finding age because it is pretty awesome. And I've just been flying around here, finding finding libraries and stuff. As you can see, I haven't really done much uh, exploring here, but it's basically there's there's just nether rack everywhere uh, with water instead of lava. So it's really quite an awesome age, and. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm probably, I'll go, I'll show you guys how to do Mistcraft, you know what, I will, I'll do it right now. So basically things you'll need are the ink, the bookbinder, writing desk, and ink mixer. And these just take a bit of glass, um, some ink, leather, and wood to make. Uh, so what you do is here, now they, these books that you see here are descriptive books. So they, they can carry pages and stuff, and all you need to do that is three pieces of leather like that you get a notebook and you can put as many pages unlimited pages in there uh, so then the next thing you're going to need is some books obviously and some vials so this machine right here gives you these linking panes what you do is you put ink in here if I grab these glass balls and we come over here and we you know oh yeah we need to fill them up with water first so you come down here you get your glass balls you go bang fill all of them up and then you've got to craft that with the uh, with the, the ink here. Get yourself one of these guys here. Now they do stack, which is awesome. I just realised that again. I keep every time I do this, I realise it actually does stack. So you go ahead and you throw your vials in here. You get these linking panes out as long as you have paper. Now these linking panes, 
if you put them in here, you can get this descriptive book. Now, if I click this, this will give me a random world, um, just just like this one here did. And when once you make one, or, you know, an age, you're going to need one of these lecterns, which is a stick and some wood. Now, you only really need to do this once because the libraries actually have lecterns in them. And there's always a chest in one corner, so make sure you watch out for that. Um, now, these things here, all you have to do is put them in with some leather, and you'll get yourself a linking book, an unlinked book, and then... When you're going to your age, what you want to do is you first want to come here and you want to set your book. So if I click this, it will turn into a linked book. And it will always bring me back to this spot. And I am actually going to do this because we need one for the quarry. So now if I use that book, it will bring me back to this spot right here. Or if I go ahead and throw it inside one of these lecterns, it will, it will basically be a thing. I can click it. Obviously, in the same dimension, you can't use these. So they're kind of... can't really use them right now. Um... So we can't actually use that book. But there is a way to get them for the same dimension. And I found these ones here. So this one here is full of IC2 coolant. So I've actually upgraded all of the machines with even more. Well, two of them. The macerator and the furnace now has nine overclock. And so the ethanol, which is a fuel on which we can concentrate and get awesome, really awesome stuff from. Um, and we can power our base and stuff using that, which is... I'm so happy I got this age. And you, you matter. Oh man, I know it's an unstable age, but there is so much UU matter. Unlimited of it. UU matter is what we need to get iridium and duplicate it. Now, obviously, I'm going to do the full IC2 setup, um, and I'm not going to use any of this, you know, to get the initial one. Just so I'll have everything set up so I can show you guys, but it does cost a lot of power, and it does take a lot of time to be able to get that iridium to chests as well. Now, ender chests work exactly the same way as the tanks, apart from they are chests instead of tanks. So you can put a diamond on the lock, as you can see I have done here. Diamond, you have it works the exact same way. Put an item in here, click this one, it's in there. And you can you can label the top with different colours as well. And I'm I was gonna use these for the spawners, but then I thought, you know what? Instead of having to do this and then use ender pearl generators, I will just go ahead and make up myself a whole load of iridium and singulim. So to make this stuff here. Uh, I actually done this recipe where you use the iridium blend. So you need shiny metal, I mean the endearium blend. You know, shiny metal, pulverized silver, and tin as well, pulverized tin. And this resident ender bucket, which you get from smelting down um, ender pearls in here, and then you fluid transpose it into a bucket. And that's how you get this stuff. You then smelt it with this pryothium, which is really, really cheap to get. It's just some sulfur, coal dust, and stuff. Now this sigillum is what you need to lock your... Um, your things so if I just go ahead and search here um, tesseract I'll show you so this takes pulverized silver pulverized copper and the redstone deucible. Um so to make the tesseract very easy I use the um, end of fuse quartz so you just put quartz inside the uh, end bio furnace uh, and the ring thing gets there you then have to put it in with five ender pearls to get you a thousand inside the fluid transposer. And I mean five ender pearls into the the uh, magma crucible to kind of put it in there. And then you need to get the silurium lock, which is copper, surrounded by the, the little things there. Some silicon, and you get the uh, test fractal. Of course, you have to put it into this recipe first, then do this recipe, and that means that you can lock it. And I, I've set that all up down here. Just thought I'd tell you. This is actually how we're going to get the power over to our our uh, our quarry. Um, okay, guys. So just before I go down there and show you the reactor, um, I'll put some in there. All of these machines have now been upgraded to resident level, as you can see at the top there on Whaler, and they have full upgrades in all, in all of them, all of these machines, apart from these two. So you see, resident, resident, with the upgrades. These two haven't been because I I don't use them enough for that. And this one here doesn't have a resident, so yeah. Now we'll head down here and take a look at the reactor. This, I am so glad this took ages to fill up. Like, absolutely ages, and it costs, you know, so much resource. I'm so glad I've got loads of redstone. I think finding the knitter was, I, I think I've run out of it now, but having to go through the nether and find all of that knitter was really, really a pain. So now we have this all done, it's all set up. I've got these ender chests here, which we will come round, place one here. 
I believe I have some pipe, I hope. If not, I'm gonna have to go all the way back up there again. All right, guys, we've got the cable now. So, well, not cable, tube. It's in. I've got a load of yellow room there. And this side here is insert, and this is extract. And that will pull out this stuff, put it into this chest, and then it should pull out all the yellow room that we have into there. Perfect. So now if we come around here, this is the big moment, you can see we're full here. I haven't actually done this yet, so let's turn on our reactor and see how much power we produce. We have five reactor rods up there, cryothium cooling. I'm hoping that we produce a lot of power. We're using over one millibucket a tick here. Wow. Okay guys, I've got the perfect spot. I did actually manage to cannot really fix that big reactor. I added some computer craft stuff, which I will show you next episode. I don't really have time this episode to explain it to you, but it basically turns off the reactor um, uh, once it reaches its kind of buffer level, once the cells are full. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that, don't worry. So this thing is an angel block, right? And this is what I'm using to place down these markers for the quarry. Now this thing's really cheap, just some obsidian, a gold, some feathers, and that's it really. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to actually place down some cobble next to it. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so we're going to do that and then we're going to break this angel block here. Oh, it fell down, didn't it? Did I get it? Oh, no, I got it, I got it, don't worry. So now on here is where this here marker is going to go, the first marker. And then just on the side is where we're going to have our quarry. Now, of course, oh, that is not our quarry. That is that is the test run. These torches, I'm going to place them probably about a couple of hundred blocks that way, a couple hundred blocks that way, place two of them down. I don't know if I need the third one. I'm going to place them and then see. And then you place your my power up here. Now, this here is also getting, sending items over to the base as well and I have a test rack set up next to our uh, what's it called that chest that I made the, the draconian one with all the smelty stuff that I'll show you I don't know if I've showed you that but I'll show you it again just in case um, so sending items receiving energy perfect uh, so now I'm gonna go this way place down the torch go this way place down the torch well sorry the marker all right I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back we, we forgot to put our quarry up to power so I'm just going to go ahead and move this um, onto some, basically. So um, for now, I guess I'll just throw it here. Throw the chest down there. Throw this guy there. Quarry. Sending energy. Perfect. And like that. So now our quarry should yes oh my god look at that that is that is really quick standard connection force connection okay there's no option for nothing so I guess that's gonna power our chest um we're not even feeling the burn here and four jeez we're really gonna have to do something about this stone I think I'm gonna avoid it actually to be honest uh, gonna avoid all that stone don't need it at all uh, or no actually I won't yeah I'm just gonna avoid all the stone um, so I'll get that done for next episode and um, as you can see the quarry is definitely working very well um, so yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time okay guys so I know I said it was the end of the episode not quite, I just want to show you this chest real quick. Um, so as you can see, you get loads of inventory space. You've got a little crafting grid here, so you can just you know do your crafting. There's not really anything in here that I can craft. You can see the stuff's being taken out. That's because of these two guys here with the filters and the bins. I need some dirt to cover that in, actually. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you this chest. Now, if I come up here and grab some of this, uh, drag this stuff here, and <clears throat> and I go ahead and I throw it in to this smelting. Now, normally I'd only get two out of the macerating pools, riser and stuff like that. 
throw it in here. Oh. I think this melts everything inside the chest, which. Uh, okay, maybe we don't want. Okay, we have to craft this with iron. Oh, okay, I get two. Um, but in here, I get four. Look at this. Sixteen. My god, I, could, I, I mean, I'm gonna, I could have so much of this stuff now. And I think we are going to make the tools next episode. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make up these tools, test them out, put some enchants on them, see what they're like, because they look amazing. And also, I stumbled upon the end portal when I was wandering around yesterday looking for a creeper for my newbie girlfriend. She needed a creeper's heart, and uh, I stumbled upon the end portal, which was very weird. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.